In this lesson, I will be solving problem number 19 in section 4 of College Board's Practice SAT Exam 1. If I got a penny for every time my students told me how much they hate word problems, I will have a lot of pennies. Standardized test makers also know that, so of course they love to package simple problems in a lot of words in hopes of confusing students. The key to success on these types of questions is not to panic, because as I said, the concepts themselves are often very simple. This particular question tests our ability to translate words into equations. So let's dive right in. The first thing you want to do is define our variables. The question asks for the number of salads sold that day, so that must be one of our variables. We can call it S. The food truck also sells drinks, so let's set D equal to the number of drinks sold that day. Now skip through the question one more time just to make sure we have accounted for all of our unknowns. And it looks like we have. So the next step is to set up the equations. Since we have two variables, we need at least two equations to solve for them. For the first equation, we use the fact that the truck sold a total of 209 items that day. This means the number of salads sold, S, plus the number of drinks sold, D, equals 209. We also know that the total revenue that day is $836.50. This is made up of the price of each salad, 6.5, times the total number of salads sold that day, S, plus the price of each drink, $2, times D, the total number of drinks sold that day. Now we have reduced the problem down to a familiar system of two equations. So our last step is to solve them. Now I'm going to show you two methods of solving this system of equations. Method one is by substitution. So here again, we have our two equations. We're going to express one variable in terms of the other. In other words, we're going to substitute. Since the question asks for the value of s, it makes sense to express d in terms of s. That way, after substituting, we'll end up with one equation that includes only the variable s. So we can rewrite the first equation by subtracting s from both sides. So we have d equals 209 minus s. We can then substitute 209 minus s for d in the second equation. So we have 836.5 equals 6.5s plus 2 times 209 minus s. Continuing to simplify, we find that 836.5 is equal to 6.5s plus 418 minus 2s, which is equal to 4.5s plus 418. If we subtract 418 from both sides, we get 418.5 on the left equal to 4.5s on the right. And finally, we find that s is equal to 93. We can verify this answer with our second method, which is solving by elimination. This is my preferred method because it's often simpler and cleaner than solving by substitution. The idea behind this is to reduce the two variables down to one by eliminating one altogether. To accomplish this, we notice that we can multiply the first equation by two and subtract it from the second equation. If we do that, multiply the, everything in the first equation by two, we have 418 on the left side, is equal to 2s plus 2d. Now we can subtract this from the second equation, and we notice that the d's cancel out exactly. So here we have 418.5 on the left side equal to 4.5s on the right. Solving this, we get s equals 93. You can see how we're able to arrive at our answer very quickly using this method. And we have verified that our answer is indeed b 93. I hope this was a good refresher for you for solving a system of two equations. If you have any questions, 
please include them in the comments below or email me at prepwithjen at gmail.com.